she filtered the crap out of the pictures that she took of me, y'all. Head high, check the button, catch that frame, cause beauty is my name. What up, beauty gang? African Beauty here, and I am finally bringing you guys a long-awaited late-night vent session. I've been wanting to bring these back to my channel for the longest. If you're an OG beauty gang member, you remember that I did these back in my college days quite frequently, and then I just dropped off the face of the earth in terms of this type of content. But now I'm back, because I got some stuff to vent about, in particular, my recent experience with the hairstylist from hell, dang near. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all all the tea on that because I was on Instagram Live earlier tonight and people wanted to know the tea and I was like, I'm gonna save it for the video. So, first of all, if you're on that Instagram Live, comment below. And second of all, if you are new to Beauty Gang and you have never heard of us, sis. We don't know you've been up, but we are so glad that you found us. This is Beauty Gang is hella stupid lit over here. If you don't believe me, go check the comment section below and you will see multiple. Beauty Gang members vouching for the fact that we are hella stupid lit. So after you done that, go to the subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified each time I post a new video without further ado. So let's get into this thesis. <sighs> All right, y'all. So my old late night vent sessions is usually the time when I wind down. Okay, so y'all about to see the real, authentic, beautiful. Thank you, babe. Raw, natural, easy as I vent to y'all about the BS that I've gone through. So go ahead and plop these lashes all over. By the way, this, if anybody has a better method to taking off lashes other than possibly pulling out your own. Let me know, I'm a little bit impatient. I know there's better ways I can do it, but I also like to reuse my lashes, so I don't like to put like water or oil or anything on them. Really, babe? Really? Woo! Josh. Woo wee! You're disgusting. Woo wee! This is late night, go ahead and get, your, get out of here. Finish. Woo! Tow it up. You're disgusting. Tow it up. Stop. Tow it up. Josh. Oh, oh. What'd I say? What'd I say? You're disgusting. What'd I say? What'd I say? <laughs> Get out of my. Ain't no shame in my game. Get out. That's because I'm healthy. Healthy. I drink. Get out. Healthy. Healthy. I'll vent about him next weekend, y'all. You gonna vent about me? Yeah, I will. I will. If you push me to that limit. Get out! I'm tired! Oh, stop that! Stop! I'm on. Stop! Stop! Come on, G! Dang! This is what I be going through, y'all. I need to bring these late night then sessions back, clearly. Inti ways. I was restraining myself or refraining myself. Refraining. I don't know why I said restraining. Myself from spilling too much tea on my Instagram live this evening because, you know, y'all are my friends. So I was just, you know, just venting because I hadn't really talked about it in depth. But here's the tea. The person who did my hair for my birthday photo shoot slash my birthday. It was a horrible experience, y'all. From start to pretty much finish. My main problem and the point of this late night vent session is getting out the frustration of dealing with hairstylists. In particular, I'm black. I only let black people touch my hair if I let anybody touch my hair. So therefore, I'm complaining about black hairstylists. Disclaimer though, that's not to say that all black hairstylists or black businesses in general are bad, but let's be 100, 1,000, 1 milli. There is a lot of bad, service, unprofessional black businesses out there. Just wanna make that very clear. I'm not generalizing, but this is my experience. And this is not just one, I've had multiple experiences with bad black hairstylists, but this is a recent one. The first issue was probably the fact that I went for somebody through, basically, I think I found her through um, Chicago hairstylist hashtags. That was probably my first issue because she wasn't referred to me. I didn't have any friend or acquaintance that had previously used her. So I was just going based off the work that I saw on her Instagram account. I can't remember if I found her through the hashtags or I do remember I did ask Beauty Gang on my Instagram story if they knew any Chicago hairstylists, basically DM me it or whatever. Her name might've popped up through there, but either way, long story short, the person wasn't referred to me. But I saw her page and I, from what I saw, it looked good. Like she made the lace look melted. It was kind of like the what lace type energy. <laughs> we'll get into that. But anyway, yeah, so reached out to her via DM. She reached back. The initial 
reach back was cool but we started having issues or i started noticing issues when i guess i didn't take much to take off my makeup but i started noticing issues when um I was talking to her about doing two different looks because I wanted to do two different looks for my birthday photo shoot, which I still accomplished, but it, it wasn't what I wanted. Like the original hairstyle that I wanted was basically a ponytail hairstyle using a wig, which she said she could accomplish. But I also wanted obviously a different hairstyle for the other look. And she originally, I was gonna have her come to the photo shoot and stuff. And um, I just kept switching my hairstyle, trying to figure out a way that I can have two different looks basically and, and no matter how I tried to switch it because the ponytail one that I wanted had like this swoop thing going on and then it was in a ponytail when she told me that basically there was no way for me to do another hairstyle well basically she said I need to buy two wigs for two different looks instead of using one wig so that kind of confused me and for the ponytail one because of the swoop and I guess you have to mold it and stuff she was like there's no way that we can do the ponytail one on set type stuff it would have to be the first hairstyle which means she just wasn't being very corroborative and I also asked her basically like, all right, there's um cute hairstyles out where it's like swoop and the rest of the hair is down. That's like an old school type of look. I was like, okay, well, can we have the swoop with the hair down so the hairstyle is basically halfway done slash molded and then all you have to do is put in a ponytail for the shoot. She said no, she just refused no matter what. So that happened. I ended up changing my hairstyle like maybe three or four times and just ultimately decided just to have my hair down, which was annoying because I wanted to bring something different. And I originally, with the first birthday outfit, that also was a fail. It just didn't fit right. And that was a black owned business. That's a whole nother thing. But with the first birthday outfit I was gonna do, I told her that I wanted to get highlights in the wig. Now y'all tell me this, y'all tell me. <laughs> And I feel stupid even disclosing this to y'all, but whatever, it is what it is. It's a men's session, right? As soon as I told her, after I found out I have to have a very basic hairstyle, just my hair down, I was like, all right, let me spice it up. Let me, let me give Beauty Gang some life and add highlights, right? She said, all right, highlights are $200. That kind of caught me off guard because I'm like, highlights are $200? $200 for highlights. Oh, I forgot the kicker. The biggest thing is she doesn't do any hair that's not her. So she's a hairstylist, but she also has a website that she sells hair on. From a, She's like a vendor. Well, she probably buys the hair from a vendor and therefore sells the hair on her website and only do, uses her hair from her website on her clients. So you have to buy her hair and purchase her service, right? So alone, originally because I wanted the ponytail and stuff, I ended up buying the hair off her website for the ponytail in terms of the length and everything. I don't know how many of you guys know this, but like the longer the length the more expensive so I ended up getting a wig that was 26 inches and she said for the ponytail to be full because I don't want I don't want no thin nothing I was like is this wig enough like is it gonna be enough density for it to have like this full effect like the picture I showed her she's like oh you need to probably buy an extra bundle so I bought a 26 inch wig and a 26 inch bundle for $640 okay that's just the hair from her website then, like I just told y'all, fast forwarding after switching multiple hairstyles, not even doing the ponytail anymore, which is annoying because I didn't have to get that long of a length and spend that much money. She says, it's going to be an additional $200 for highlights. I'm like, all right, it's my birthday. You know, it's technically a write off because pictures will be taken. It's going to be shown on social media. So, you know, I ate that. But at the same time, no matter how rich I get or whatever, how many write offs I can do, I'm still like, you know, frugal. So it did still piss me off, but I'm like, I deserve it. Don't, don't get too hot, don't get too mad about it, right? So the 640 for buying the hair, 200 for highlights. Actually purchasing her service was supposedly $180. I also found out the day of, I don't know if I should skip, I'm kind of skipping everywhere, but the day of I ended up finding out because she did my hair on a Sunday, there's an extra $50, which I didn't know. Um, she was like, it's on the website. I didn't see that shit. But anyway, I'm actually gonna put on a face mask tonight, by the way, y'all, I haven't used it in a while and I feel like my skin can use a little bit of TLC. Um, where was I at? Just talking about how much money I had spent thus far. I don't even know how much I've told. It's definitely, including the highlights and stuff, like we're up there in the 800, not close to a thousand already. So anyway, I ended up booking the appointment. Like I said, I didn't know it was an extra $50 for it to be on Sunday. I would've did the day before, but whatever. Ended up booking the appointment, maybe like three weeks to a month before <laughs> 
<laughs> three weeks to a month before the appointment. Tell me why, y'all. The well, oh, pause, rewind. So my mom was gonna go with me. Based off the pictures that I saw on her Instagram, I assumed she had a shop. I was just going into this whole situation pretty much blind, but uh, uh, but assuming it was in downtown Chicago where the appointment was scheduled. And my mom was gonna take me because I don't have a car, nor do I really feel like I need one. I don't go that many places and wherever I need to go, I use my mom's or Josh's car. My mom was gonna go with me because we just roll together, right? When I told her, and then my best friend lives out in Chicago, um, downtown Chicago area, close to where the appointment was. So when I DM'd her like, hey, just FYI, my mom and friend is gonna come with me. She was like, no, they can't. She, that's another red flag too. It was very, very short. Like I would have like paragraphs asking her questions or just like kind of giving her details on like what I envisioned for the hairstyle or whatever. Just very short, very yes, no, no, they can't. It was it was that type of energy. And I, I don't know, I try not to read too much into text or DMs and stuff like that. But I feel like to be honest, you can read people's energy through messages sometimes. If you're sending people exclamation points and emojis and stuff like that, and they're very bland and like just ugh, towards you, 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 you can feel that. So I already knew going into it that this was gonna be a pretty awful energy I was about to experience. But anyway, fast forward to the day before, I told her my mom and bestie was gonna come. She said, no, they can't. I said, all right, can, well, can my mom at least? Cause she's my ride. She said, no, just you. So that already had me hot because I'm like, my own mama can't come? You saying my mama can't come? <sighs> so then I tried to be, you know, all considerate and sympathetic and was like, all right, we are going through COVID right now. Like, I don't know what her paranoia might be with it. So, okay. So my mom ended up letting me use her car go out there myself. And then I, I chilled with my bestie for a while. And then she actually, I drove to her place. Then she drove me to the actual appointment, which was down the street from her place. So I didn't have to pay for parking because on top of paying for the hair off her website and all that stuff, I don't know how many of you guys know about downtown Chicago, but the parking is no joke. It's super freaking expensive for no freaking reason. And like I said, I didn't know what I was going into, whether it was a shop or what, which it wasn't. Come to find out, it was her apartment. So, oh, I forgot the kicker though, I forgot the kicker. Like I said, the appointment was set three to four weeks in advance. The day of my appointment was set for 11 a.m. so that I would be out before nightfall, right? She texts me about eight or nine a.m. saying, I'm gonna have to push you back to 120. No apology, no excuse, no reasoning, just 120. D didn't care about inconveniencing me at all. And she knew, she knew my photo shoot was the next day. And I just kept telling my mom and friend, I'm like, I'm so glad I pretty much had everything together, but didn't have any other plans scheduled after the appointment in terms of getting myself prepared for the following day because she did not care, y'all. She did not care at all. She was like, I, I have to push it back to 120. How do we go from 11 a.m. to 1.20 p.m. after an appointment had been scheduled for almost a month? And now that I'm thinking about it too, I'm pissed that I even paid the extra $50 for Sunday. She was late, like, <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyway, so then 1.20 comes, my friend, we get there at exactly 1.20, and usually we're not good with being on time, but I, I just wanted to get in and out of that situation. Get there at 1.20, call her, oh, I'm 10 minutes away. 10 minutes passed, she's still not there. She showed up 15 minutes later, but either way, I'm still trying to give y'all context. Like this was a ridiculous, bizarre ass experience. But then when she gets there, meet her in the front of her building. And I instantly can tell as I'm getting out my friend's car and she's waiting at the front door, this is a young little girl. I low-key thought she was like a teenager. And that's the thing on her page, she doesn't show her face at all. She don't tell her age in the bio or anything. And I mean, understandably so, she's a hairstylist. It is what it is, but I didn't know who I was dealing with the whole we just dm the whole time we never talked on the phone or anything so it was a shocker to me how young she was and a lot of people on instagram live when i was kind of giving them the tea about the situation was like why didn't you speak up why didn't you say anything and i think my biggest point of view was just like once i saw her age i was just like all right i'm about to be 26 well i'm 26 now but like this girl just exited her teens type stuff. There's different types of people in their 20s. And I feel like at her age, I was just way more mature than my typical peer group or whatever. 
And I could just tell from how she talked, how she acted, even just through DMs for meeting her in person, what type of 20 year old she was, right? That's the reasoning I came to in my head of why it wasn't even worth fighting, like pick and choose your battles type stuff. Plus on top of that, like I said, I already invested so much money into the situation. Even if I was to go at it with her, I didn't know where that was gonna leave me. I don't, she probably wouldn't have given me my money back. I didn't know what type of person she was either at the end of the day, like if, she, if I was safe, like you gotta think, you're putting a lot of trust into I don't think people realize you're putting a lot of trust into hairstylists or people that are working on you whether it be your brows your lashes your hair blah 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 these people you're in a very vulnerable state during those type of I was gonna say procedures but you know what I mean experiences so I wasn't trying to say nothing or do nothing to set this girl off and she got scissors in her hands cutting tracks and I don't know I just and it was just me and her in her apartment so anyway, I ended up last minute, uh, I had an issue with the birthday outfit, but me and my mom last minute had to put some stuff together and the chocolate look in particular, me and my mom came up with that outfit scheme. The chocolate pants came from a black owned company. She's actually a beauty game member, super dope. I tagged her in the photo shoot vlog that I posted. Because me and my mom had to kind of last minute put something together in terms of the top for the chocolate look, those highlights that I said I wanted no longer worked. Because me, she had never asked all she told me was there's gonna be 200 for highlights but she had never asked me what type of highlights I wanted did I want a lot did I want a little so I went into the appointment assuming that she was gonna do the highlights the day of doing my hair I show up the highlights are already in the wig and it looks ridiculous it looks tacky it looks crazy and it was not gonna look right with the outfit I was just so confused because I'm like well you never even in my head I'm like you never even asked me what type of highlights I wanted so how I just Oh, it was just a mess because I went in there telling her like actually I decided I'm not gonna do the highlights anymore We can just do a regular wig blah blah blah. She was like, oh, I already did it I still have to charge you for that and blah blah blah. blah. She claimed she gave me a discount and all this other stuff It's all bullshit y'all all bull now because she didn't have another just natural color wig on hand Which I think is weird, but whatever she only had the wig that I ordered that was already highlighted that, That's the crazy thing too if I spent six hundred dollars on on that wig you thought that you could just highlight it without asking me what type of highlights I wanted y'all let me know in the comment section below if I sound crazy to have gone into the appointment assuming that she would have waited to do the highlights because she didn't know what type I wanted but anyway when I ended up telling her like nah the highlights ain't it blah 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 and she didn't have another natural color wig on her that's when we have to ended up do doing the sewing and that's a big thing that even initiated this late night event session not only did all the other BS that I just explained to y'all happen then I'm gonna start a video right now this happened to me too that was a week after the appointment that was literally three day three four days ago where my neck or the back of my my kitchen area was looking ridiculous like that i was in pain for a full week that's not the day after that's not two days after that's a week after and i still had those red bumps in the back of my neck it was ridiculously tight and she ended up having to do a sew-in on my hair because she didn't have a wig i don't know if she would have did the same bit braid pattern regardless but what's crazy is even when she was braiding it i would tell her like um because it was a type of braid pattern that like braided into the next i guess it's a common braid pattern but i was telling her like oh that's a little bit tight can you like adjust that blah, blah blah and even then we still adjust it so I can't imagine if I never would have said anything I, my, I probably would have been bleeding if I never would have said anything when it first was kind of tight I probably would have bled <laughs> but anyway so that happened she ended up having to do a sew-in and on um originally supposedly when if we would have did the wig it would have taken like an hour and a half to two hours that's what it said on the website what that type of treatment is or whatever whatever so when she was like where we're gonna i have extra hair but we're gonna have to sew it in i can't make it a wig i asked her like okay well how much longer is that gonna take she said maybe an extra hour or two y'all told y'all i got there at 1 20 p.m my best friend could not come pick me up to leave until 8 30 p.m <sighs> so anyway She's sewing in the hair. I, I was telling Beauty Gang on Instagram, I think a big reason also why it ended up being so tight and just like that looked that bad in the back of my head. Not only did she braid my hair tight, also when she was sewing it in, she like sewed it and then I couldn't see her, but I felt I felt that movement of like sewing it in and then looping it around and pulling it through. Cause she would pull it through every time and it would tug, which would pull even tight. Like, it was just ridiculous. My thing is if you're in public service dealing with people and stuff, there's a certain energy that you should bring to the table and type of professionalism that I believe should be required. But so that just goes over so many of their heads. So anyway, 
what else I'm trying to think there was some other mess that ended up happening oh you know what she ended up letting slip out you know about her having to postpone or you know push back my time for my appointment she went to go get her hair done that morning she let that slip out we were talking and she had said something like yeah if you would have saw me before I got my hair done this morning you would have said I was a mess or she said something to that extent and I just took that as a, as a noted I didn't like let her know that I caught on to the fact that oh so you went to go get your hair done this morning that's why you pushed me back <laughs> before she started like even braiding my hair and preparing it and stuff she had calculated how much I was gonna owe that day because I had taken 400 out the bank because I knew that she had said that it was gonna be 200 for highlights and then like 180 on the website for what I was getting but then like I said I wasn't gonna get the highlights either way she still ended up charging me for the highlights because she was like nobody's really gonna want to buy this wig because it already has highlights in it and blah 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 blase blase she claimed she gave me a discount saying that she wasn't gonna make me pay for the new hair well mother i already paid for hair 640 dollars for the hair but anyway just keep in mind before she started this braiding the sewing all that stuff she had said it was gonna be 400 dollars by the time she was done with it oh you know what pause before i was even allowed to look at my hair like turn around in the mirror and see she already whipped out her phone doing videos pictures all of that she like refused to let me turn around in the mirror and see how the hair was looking she was like don't move a muscle blah blah, blah. i'm thinking that she's trying to like perfect something she's trying to get angles and pictures so that was annoying when i finally was able to turn around i was just like i wasn't i wasn't thrilled i wasn't like shook i it wasn't a uh, what what lace type type of thing or where's the lace I saw the lace it was ridiculous y'all as beauty gang had said on uh the Instagram live they feel like I could have did better like myself and I, I, I agree I've done better with I've done better lace front wigs synthetic than what I ended up getting that day but anyway, at the end of it all, she ends up going back to her little calculator. That'll be, what did she say? I don't know if she said 490 or 450. So she decided to tack on, cause she, first of all, the length was 26 inches. She's the one that kind of like suggested like cutting it, layers, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the night, she ends up telling me because she cut it, that's $15. Because it's Sunday, it's an extra $50. Like she was tacking on extra pro like i don't know ultimately i've come to terms with the fact that i more than likely got played that's pretty much what the makeup artist was saying but what's crazy is i kind of had a little bit more faith in her because she's done celebrities hairs before like well celebrities in particular like loving hip-hop stars or people in that world so i guess that doesn't say much but as i was talking to her and kind of understanding who she is she's like somebody that gets flown out to la and atlanta to do people's hair so she's 20 experiencing that type of lifestyle so she just thinks she's a shit that's basically what it is but what's crazy is maybe a no not even a whistle my birthday was last week so like sometime late last week i ended up going on her instagram page to see if she ever posted the pictures of me what she did she didn't tag which is probably good for her because i'm sure y'all be at her head if she did but anyway she filtered the crap out of the pictures that she took of me y'all i will show up pictures that she posted on her insta and i hope that i have like pictures still on my phone of that first night or at least like so y'all can see the lace like that is not what the lace look like in real life it's not even what the lace look like in the professional pictures that i took so how it's all smooth and seamless and you can't see it on her page that's real interesting i mean i feel like that's how i ended up probably getting played that's what initially made me reach out to her i saw the pictures and what she did with her other clients on her page but little do i know she probably edited the hell out of them i just be expecting people to do better in life y'all i just be having higher expectations of people but whatever that whole experience was a hot mess and i was telling beauty gang on the live that the day of my birthday the actual day not the photo shoot the day of my birthday in the white jumpsuit uh, my hair was shorter and i had the pink makeup i did that the hairstyle was so basic to me and y'all know i'm not basic i just was so over it so i went in the washroom that morning and just start cutting away cutting layers and stuff added baby hairs that was another thing that brings me back to another thing i kind of wanted like extra baby hairs i wanted to do the most it was my birthday i showed her examples of the baby hairs that i wanted kind of like um i think the hairstylist name is arrogant tay he's a really well-known hairstylist for instagram baddies and i think celebrities she gonna tell me my forehead is too small or it, 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 I won't look right type stuff as I was repeating the story to my makeup artist 
I was really like, honey, I paid you over a thousand dollars. If I wanted the baby hair to touch my eyebrow, that shit ought to touch. You know what I mean? Like, how are you gonna tell me what I can and can't get and I'm paying you? Like, y'all, the experience was ridiculous. And at the end of the day, I've come to terms with the fact that I have to learn how to be more, not confrontational, but just kind of speak up for myself a little bit more. I'm not like a shit starter type of person. I'm not confrontational like that. There's been a couple occasions where I experience really bad service like that and don't, don't pop off like I probably should just to avoid the extra backlash or whatever else. But sometimes it's necessary. In this case, I don't know. I just know I'll never go back type stuff. And like I said, she was young, she's 20, but it's still not an excuse at the end of the day. Like, I just don't understand why people get into this type of industry or public service and stuff. And one, your attitude is nasty. Your di disposition is rude. Your prices are ridiculous. And you're just super unprofessional. Like I paid that much money. She decided to delay my appointment that was set for a month, no apology tacked on extra money because she cut the hair. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? I, I real life got played. And then on top of that, I had bumps. It's been an, a horrible experience me, for me, y'all. I honestly tried to, I wouldn't say look at the positives. There's really no positive from the experience, but I've tried not to let it like piss me off to the max. Talking about it to y'all out loud, this is the last time I'm talking about it because it, it'll just like, mm. You'll have me too hot. This is why I only do my, I, I don't like people doing my hair. Like I literally, when I took my hair into my own hands like four or so years ago, that was the best thing I could have did for myself. My hair has never been as healthy or as long as it is present day. And now, as soon as I try to give somebody a chance and see what they working with, they got bumps in the back of my neck, braiding my hair too tight, just me extremely uncomfortable for no reason. It is what it is. Long story short, y'all, don't be me. If any of y'all have any bad experiences, whether it be with hairstylists or just whatever that you want to share in the comment section below, don't hesitate to, because I know that I'm not the only one who's gone through a situation like this. I know, especially based off my Instagram live, so many people are like, yeah, girl, this was this happened to me or blah, 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 blah. It's honestly sad and really ridiculous, but uh, you live and you learn. But yeah, y'all, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. It does feel good to have got it off my chest. Talking about stuff does end up helping. So hope y'all enjoyed my first late night vent session. Well, not my first, but you know, my comeback late night vent session. I definitely want to keep these coming. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any topics you might want me to touch on. And yeah, that is all I have for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video even though it was full of drama and BS, and I'm sure I still left some other stuff out, but y'all got the gist of it. Spent over a grand with this broad for a very lackluster experience and a very bum ass lace front. So don't be me, y'all. That's all I got for you guys. Really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to turn your post notifications on so you're notified each time I post a late night event session because I will continue to keep these coming. But all right, that's all I have for you guys. Really hope y'all enjoyed this video. And until next time, guys, bye. Move your body cause you're loving the way that you want Move your body if you're loving the way that you talk One time if you can't begin Clap two times cause you're on the way Never gave a damn about what they say Cause you handle all your business on the day by day Head high, chest up, and catch that frame Cause beauty